<laughs> hey, what's up everybody? It's TOS Tuesday. Today I want to talk about the complete opposite of scapular wigging, and that is having a stuck scapula. Now, not many people realize that they have a stuck scapula, and that's something that I struggle with personally. And it's basically your scapula gets stuck, and it causes an adhesion, and it becomes flat against your ribcage. So when you're doing anything, when you're breathing, it feels like your ribcage is not moving properly, or it feels like your shoulder stuck in one place and it feels abnormal, you don't know where it's coming from. Or when you're trying to reach for something, you feel that your whole body twists because you don't have that extension anymore. And it becomes a very big problem when you have all these pains and you don't know where it's coming from. So I'm gonna show you two things that are critical. Uh, one of them is a massage and a, and a stretch that you can do. You might need some help with this but I will show you a way you can do it by yourself as well. And there's also a test to see how badly stuck your scapula is. So we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna show you what you can do. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, you can do this on the floor or you can lay in bed. Uh, I found that I used to do this easier at night when I was struggling to sleep, uh, just laying in the bed. So what you do, you lay on your side, you lay on the affected shoulder, keep it as far back as you can so that it almost locks that scapula in place because you don't want any extra back and forth rocking. You want to isolate the, po the posterior capsule. You want to isolate that scapula and you want to stretch as far as you can. So push your shoulder blade as far back as you can. Arm 90 degrees. Rest your head so that you're taking all the strain off everywhere else and just focusing on this. And you're going to take your other arm and you're going to push down and you can feel that the posterior capsule of your shoulder is going to be stretching and the goal of this is to get your hand to touch the bed or the floor so you'll find that if you're extremely tight in your scapula you won't be able to touch the floor or the, the bed so your goal is to practice and just do this slowly and steady over a few days and stretch until you can't touch the floor or the bed you don't want to push too hard but you want to get a nice stretch in the posterior capsule and in your in your scapula and your shoulder this is just going to help with your internal rotation and you're going to get better mobility in that scapula now what i want to show you is a stretch you can do to figure out how tight your scapula is for this stretch we want to internally rotate our arm you want to rotate all the way in not just by the wrist but your whole arm and what you want to do is grab your lat lay flat down and feel where your lat is and you want to press on it and from this position you want to see how far over you can bring your arm without raising so if you have a stuck scapula you'll find that your body compensates and it starts lifting off the ground to come past the center line of your chest so what we want to do is try to get our elbow across without lifting off the ground. So internally rotate, turn it all the way in from the shoulder, hold your lat down as much as you can and see how far you can go without lifting off the ground. So I've got a slight bit of tightness there, but when I first started doing this, I literally couldn't move at all without lifting off the ground. So Give this a try and see how tight your scapula is and you can just get that mobility back by doing the first stretch that i showed you okay so those two tips are going to help you mobilize your shoulder loosen up that scapula and get it away from your rib cage another thing you can do is put your arm behind you and when you do this you'll feel that your scapula rises up now you may need some help with this if you can hold it in this position and get somebody to get underneath there and just pull slightly on your scapula. It's gonna help get it loose and it's gonna loosen up those myofascial tissues that are causing that adhesion and you're just gonna get a better mobility. You're gonna get less of a constriction when you're trying to move or stretch or breathe and you're just gonna feel a whole lot better. So give these a try and I'll see you guys soon.